dog who can be reactive can be a lonely thing. Our friends may all meet up to walk their dogs, but we can't go along because our dog can't cope. We might struggle to have visitors at home, or it may require planning of such military proportions that we no longer bother much. Our friends and family may not understand why we don't just tell them off. Some may even question why we keep them at all. It's not easy to manage, especially when you feel that you're on your own. We all need people who understand what we're going through. We all need allies. Allies are those who are there to celebrate all those tiny wins and who understand how humongous those tiny wins really are. Allies are those who help us to get perspective when everything else is looking grim. Allies are those who pick us up and give us a hug when things have gone badly. Allies are those who support us and cheer us on as we push our comfort zone and strive to be the best that we can. So where do we find allies like this? Well, if you're lucky, you will have friends and family who will be your allies. Even if they don't have a dog, they'll recognise the work that you're doing and help you. But sometimes we need to look further afield. Finding a knowledgeable local trainer or a tea touch practitioner can provide us with an awesome ally, and maybe more than one if we're able to join a club or a class. There are specialist communities on Facebook that can also be helpful. Reactive Dogs UK in the UK has qualified trainers, I'm one of them, for advice, and they also have over 13,000 members who will be your allies. My own group, Your End of the Lead, is a lot smaller than that, but it also provides a supportive community people who understand, and it's open to you wherever you live. And if you found these videos helpful and would like similar support all the year round, then check out my Canine Confidence Club. In the club, you'll find a committed community of allies, as well as a wealth of information with full courses and support on topics from how to change ourselves to how to change our dog's behaviour, to how tea touch can help, to how to have more fun with your dog, and a whole lot more besides that. You can join the Canine Confidence Club for a small monthly subscription. And if you get in before the end of the year, you'll lock in 2017 prices before they go up in January 2018. So if you're interested, you can find out all about it at www.canineconfidenceclub.com. Why not check it out? So that's it. This is the last instalment of your 2017 Advent Calendar. I hope you've enjoyed it. Stay tuned to me on Facebook, on YouTube and by email for more ideas and support for you and your dog as you strive to be the very best that you can be. And have a wonderful Christmas and a successful and peaceful 2018.